typically the desire to have a seller carry a note starts with you as the buyer. Most buyers will want to use a seller note to mitigate their loan exposure, but also to have a seller earn 100% of their purchase price with a small portion of that over time. This is all fine, but don't do too much pre-negotiation with the seller or with the seller's broker on that seller note before you approach someone like myself or your lender. Why do I say this? Reason being, a lot of times when folks pre-negotiate a seller note and they've agreed to a two or three or even sometimes a five-year payment on that seller note, when you calculate and add that seller note payment on top of your SBA loan payment, it may put too much pressure on the available cash flow or the available debt service and your ability to comfortably service the loan that you'll be getting from your bank. So when you pre-negotiate or agree to lesser terms with your seller, many times the bank may look to extend that term on that note or may want to do away with the seller note altogether if the seller is not agreeable to a longer amortization on that note. If the business has excess cash flow and there's a tremendous ability to debt service your loan and pay the seller on a shorter term, that's absolutely allowable. My suggestion would always be to see if you can get a seller to match your 10-year SBA term. Sometimes when your seller wants to be paid in fewer than 10 years, we can entice the seller by offering them a balloon payment in five years. We ask the seller if they'd be comfortable with a 10-year amortization to match your SBA loan term and allow them to get paid off in five years if both you and your seller are comfortable with that.